Okay, this is going to be a brief demonstration on tooltips. Tooltips are the little pop-up that appears when you hover over a mark and can tell you uh, further information about the mark, like a specific value. Um, and these things can save clutter on your maps or plots and um, also can ha help add extra information that you might not want to include in a label form. Okay, but first, um, we can use the pop-up toolbar to exclude data. So if we don't want to show null, we can just you know, highlight it and then use the exclude button. Another thing we can do is use the tooltip to create a group and call attention to a specific set of features. So for example, what if we wanted to highlight um, the subcontinents that are in Asia? We can use the control button to manually select the Asian subcontinents and then use this group button. Group members then creates um, a subset that, and it gives it a unique color and everything else becomes gray. We've done this a couple other ways this semester. Um, another thing we can do is by using control to select our group again, we can sort those independently and then we can use control to select these. I'm going to click drag to select those and we can sort those. So we have two individual um, sets of rankings. Um, they're sorted this way because this is a lower value, but you could manually drag these up to the top if you wanted them sitting at the top, even though they're not a larger value. Okay, so the tooltip, how do we edit what we see in the pop-up? You'll see here that we've got subcontinent, that's redundant. We've got subcontinent group, that's not very helpful. And then we've got the actual useful value of um, 4.84 CO2 in tons per capita in 2016, but that's not written out very well. So how do we edit that and how do we include other information? If you clip, click on the tooltip button over in the marks panel, um, we can, you can see that we've got labels and then we've got um, brackets. Everything in a bracket is dynamically being pulled from the uh, database. So we might want to get rid of these altogether. And maybe we call it um, the whole plot um, CO2 per capita in 2016. And uh, we don't need to repeat this. And maybe we don't want that after. Maybe we want to have our value. And then we'll call it just um, average CO2 in tons per, uh, something like that anyway. Um, and then maybe we want to add um, information about the continent. So if I want to insert a new feature, we can look here first. Um, and continent is something that we could pull from our database, but it's not listed over here because it's not in our table. So the default things that are added to the pop-up are the variables that you've added to the plot itself. So one thing you could do is drag country over here, but then just hide it. Don't show the header. So, oh, that didn't work. Oops, I did country. I meant continent. <laughs> and then we'll hide this, not show the header here. Um, but then what we have is the ability to add that when we are editing our tooltip. So continent, we don't want that. Oh, it just redid all this. That's lovely. Okay, so we're going to do CO2 per capita in 2016. Man, I'm on fire today. Okay. And then we're going to insert the CO2 per capita. And then let's add um, continent. We probably don't need to call it that because it'll be pretty obvious. And let's make all of this center aligned font size 12. And let's bold. Um, let's bold that. It doesn't look like that bolded. OK. Now when we hover, we have um, CO2 per capita. Uh, we need the units and then what continent it is. Make sure there's a space in there. Okay. So you can insert new 
uh, variables into your tooltip. You can edit it. You could add color. You can um, change the font up. Um, pretty flexible and a good way to reduce clutter on your plots.